Okay, you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is another vlog video. Not doing nothing too special. I'm in Olive Garden. 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 Best thing about this experience is that I'm an employee through Darden, so it will be discounted, so that's a good thing. But other than that, I'm just getting ready for work. I was supposed to get an oil change earlier, and I was literally waiting for like two hours, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do this tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to wake up early tomorrow and just try to get an oil change, hopefully. It's super cold outside, too. So hopefully, tomorrow I'll be able to get my oil change, and yeah. But I'm really not doing too much. I'll see you guys probably later on in the day. Well, actually, I'm gonna film my food. So, my food comes, I'll show it to you guys. Hey guys, so you already know when you see these lights that I just got off from work. Today was one of those nights where it was just like date night. So, tonight I only made probably about, I'd say like $150. Wasn't like yesterday. Like yesterday, I made like $200, $230. So today wasn't that bad, but it is what it is. Money is money. So I'm about to take my behind home. I really don't have too much to film today. And I got, I'm behind. I have story times that I need to record. I just haven't had time to, but I definitely will be recording a story time video for you guys. And potentially some hauls but that's probably gonna be like i don't know probably in december when vlogmas pops up because vlogmas is going to be in effect in december and i'm definitely going to be vlogging every day because your girl is trying to get her channel growing this year period if i have to film me walking home almost every single day this is what y'all gonna see it's like i'm gonna spice it up a little bit but your girl is exhausted. I'm about to go home and watch Power because I really don't have anything to do. I just got invited to go to like an after hours party, but I'm not really messing with any parties right now because right now I'm trying to save my money because I'm trying to get my place. And that's another thing. I kind of left y'all on like a cliffhanger. So the status for my place right now, I'm indecisive on what to do, but I know for sure that I want to get like an apartment. So right now I'm just saving money. And then, like I said, I think in one of my last videos, I quit my um, airport job because it just wasn't enough money. And I was killing myself for basically between five and $600 every two weeks, which really wasn't a lot of money and um i'm looking for a higher hourly so once i get a higher hourly your girl is moving out but until then i'm just putting money away that's the best thing to do especially um if you're trying to get a place like the last time i had got an apartment i had money saved but it was kind of gifted to me or whatever but this time i don't have any help from gifting so this time if i want to move back out like I definitely have to save my money and also rent is super expensive so you have to have like first month's rent available plus all the expenses that go with it so that's why it's taking me a little bit longer but trust me your girl's gonna have her place come 2022 uh, okay don't worry I will have it so right now I'm just like let me just focus get my money together and save as much as I can while I'm at home because I know when I get, ooh, about to get hit. When I, I know when I get in these streets, I'm going to be like, damn, I should have put more money away. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just like, forget partying. I don't need to do all that stuff right now. I just need to stay humble and keep saving my cash. Keep saving the coin because that's how it works. Um, also, I want to give you an update on the car. Um, the reason why I haven't got a new car yet is because um, I have this DWI thing and I'm waiting for them to take the cuffs off my car so I can trade my car in and get a different loan 
possibly with Capital One. So I definitely going to be trading my car in though. That is still happening. So yeah, I'm about to get in my car right now because it's cold and I didn't get to get no oil change like that. I, I got to wake up early for oil change. That's why I said I ain't going nowhere because I know I got to get an oil change. Okay, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, hey guys. So it's like the next day. This homeless person is wanting some money. I'm about to give him a dollar right quick. Okay. Just move move over some. Because it's traffic, man. You got to be careful. No, you're getting a dollar, okay? Okay. Awesome. Can I get $2? See, when you try to be nice, like, joy, Jesus Christ. Let me get two. What? Ungrateful self. Um, I could barely record. Like, I see him out there. It's cold outside. Like, I don't mind giving a dollar or whatever because, like I said, I've been homeless before. But how you just going up and ask for two dollars? Like, wait a minute. But anyway, y'all, I'm on my way to work. Today looks like it's going to be a slow day. I'm just going to see whatever I make today and keep it moving. Like I said, I'm on the hunt for another job. Hold on, I'm going to come back to y'all. Yeah. So basically, like, I'm on my way to work. Um, nothing really special. I've been working the whole weekend, and they have me scheduled for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. My off day is Thursday and Friday. Hopefully, Thursday and Friday will be a late day, but I've just been working a lot. But you know what? It's good because I'm grateful that I do have a job where I can work almost every day because if you do not know, I quit my other job. And I'm on the hunt for another one. Um, I did get a job offer at a nursing home, but $12 for three days, I cannot do. So I'm looking for something better. But anyway, y'all, I'm hoping that y'all having a great day. I'm um, very tired and exhausted, but I'm just going to keep it going. I slept most of the day. And I really didn't do any much. I didn't do much. I just basically got my rest like i haven't been able to get rest in a long time so to get it feels good because i normally have to wake up at six o'clock in the morning so yeah i'll probably see you guys when i like get off of work because like my job is super strict about cell phones <laughs> they'd be like oh you can't be on your phone you need to get off your phone so this is the time that i decided to pick the camera back up but i ain't really doing nothing but taking my ass to work so yeah hopefully your girl gets a job offer this week, another offer, because I need to make more than 12. So anyway, I'm gonna go and do my little serving table life, server life. Even though yesterday was not that bad, like for us not to have no type of event. The only thing about down here is barely no parking, especially on Sunday, there is no parking. And this person in front of me is still in my parking space. I hate when people do that. They steal your space. Or they steal your potential space. Every car that you can think of is parked out here. Every car. Oh, I think someone's moving. Nope. They're getting out the car. They be pressed to shit to get a free parking space. I'm trying to tell you. They be so pressed to get a free parking space. Like, they, these people, they don't give a fuck. They just get out their car and be like, oh, I got a space. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can fit behind there. Okay, y'all, uh, I'm going to pay attention on the road. I will come back to you. If you guys were just wondering, so I did find a space. It's close to the bus stop, which is not bad. This is how outside is looking. Nothing's too sweet or whatever but yeah this is how outside is looking and i'm glad i found a space in front of the freaking liquor store which i really don't like because it's a lot of homeless out here but anyway it is what it is or whatever at least i was able to find a space because um on sunday there's free parking so i'm probably gonna walk to my job like around three something i'm gonna just chill for now but if you do not you know know that I'm always working. Girl needs an oil change. Look at my thing. I have no oil in my car. So hopefully tomorrow that I get my oil change because I haven't been able to get my oil change. It's been so packed this weekend. But hopefully tomorrow I'm getting my oil change because I have no oil in my car. And I'm going to make my hair wavy. Like this will be the last time it'll be straight. So, yeah. I'm going to braid my hair up like I always do. So I've finally been able to take a break while I'm at work and eat a smash burger. 
salad or whatever with bacon and mixed greens and spinach. And um, I'm having this um, steak bowl with brown rice and quinoa and shrimp. It is really, really good and yummy. I finally been able to take a break while I'm at work and eating a smash burger, salad or whatever, with bacon and mixed greens and spinach. And um, I'm having this um, steak bowl with brown rice and quinoa and shrimp. It is really, really good and yummy. Our serving wise, your girls are not a stripper or nothing, but I did make close. Now, if I didn't have to sip out, it would have been three fifty, but um. I did very, very well tonight, so I'm really happy um, about the money I made tonight. And yeah, like Sundays, I always end up making good money on Sunday. I don't know what it is about Sundays, but at this restaurant on Sundays is like my money night. Cause you know, a lot of people, they wanna go home and they don't be trying to take their tables. And I be the one ready to take tables on Sunday nights. And also, um, let me, I want to speak about this right quick. So, um, I serve or whatever, and I want to say this. So there are some people out here, especially myself, other people, how, um, you know, like we have some servers at my job that are white and they do not like taking black customers. And this is one girl that I work with. She is white and she doesn't like taking black tables so every black table that sat down she would not go to them like she would like not look at them or if they were there she would just ignore them so what i ended up doing was i ended up taking all her black tables that she had and i ended up making money and it's not that black tables don't tip it's that the young kids don't be trying to tip but that's not true because i had some kids today that left a tip it's the ignorant ones that don't be tipping so i was just like you know i could feel her but then still you can't be like racist and you know this world is still racist people be trying to erase um racism away but it hasn't really gone anywhere i personally don't like the bitch because she always thinking that somebody is supposed to do something for her like they to the help and i'm not the help like i'm doing a job just like you do but anyway i made money because i took all the girls tables because she ain't want them she didn't want to take the black customers so i took every black customer and i think the, the black customers were getting him because they were seeing her walk past and i was willing to help and they ended up tipping me see god don't like ugly so you know i just end up helping everybody because that's what i'm supposed to do so yeah I got time. What type of time he want? Oh, see? Oh my god. Okay, my keys are in my pocket. But I'm keeping y'all on camera because this dude is howling. 